So welcome back. So as you can see on this canvas, uh, it looks a bit rough on the edges, but that's because I had to dry, clean it totally off and I actually was a little bit hard on it. So, but this is a tryout and you will see the colors that I chose uh, in a few seconds because I made this as a fast forward. So see you in a minute. Welcome back to my channel. So today is Sunday the 13th of June and I was just telling my husband we were just hanging up our paintings from one of my previous videos where I had this husband and wife challenge and uh, he really loves it still and it has a kind of a different angle to it when you look at it the colors are really standing out very very strange but he loves it anyway so today i'm just gonna have a small piece the last time i made a piece for my son this i'm not quite sure it's 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 a tryout on the colors um so to see if it was something that maybe was something that my southern son's uh, girlfriend liked. So it's a piece that I had to wash off again. Um, I was really wondering if I had to give it some gesso uh, before actually starting paint. But let's, as it's a tryout, let's see. So base paint, white. Then I'm going to have the Thalo Blue uh, from Amsterdam. So we're going to use the Russian blue thalo from Amsterdam, we're going to use the pearl blue from Amsterdam and ultramarine blue with some iridescent in it, uh, also from Amsterdam, except for the iridescent, and then the silver from Amsterdam. So let's see how that pans out. I haven't really thought about the layout. First I was thinking maybe having two bottles or making a kind of a line here and a line there. Very small canvas and we have a tendency to um, love the big canvas because it's easier to work with. And in my black piece, which I can show afterwards, um, I felt that the colors disappeared. I still love the piece. I hope my son does. Let's see what he says when it's done. Uh, it took a long while before it actually dried out. I think I'm just going to make it lines here and I don't want them to be too close because when I stop blowing it out it's just going to cover everything um, so I think I'm just going to let's see go from here like a half circle and then here it's like a Y okay me and my husband he said I need to do another piece and he wants to resin it as well I'm just like what is going on and he wants to make a bigger piece so we're just looking at what I had of canvases available in that size that he was looking at and it's gonna be huge so as he said the table that I'm working on right now is just temporary and it's too small for that canvas. It's actually going beyond the edges that I have right here. So we need to think about how we're gonna solve that. And we do have um, something that could be extended. So that's gonna be interesting to see what, how that goes. This is a lot of color, but then the other, the other paintings that I've been making the past times it seemed like the colors disappeared into the base color. So I'm really aiming for something more. Let's see. Let's take away the bubbles. But really, that my husband wanted to do more paintings. It's kind of 
surprise. So my base color is kind of fluid, so I'm not sure if I have to put this on a high level. What is that? Um, is that bubbles or what is it? Hmm. Not sure what this is. Strange. Let's see. I'm gonna start from low and see how this works out. color combination and it's almost like no negative space like my husband loves I love this it, it, it was so fast but I love the color combination I really do the only thing that I dislike a bit is that it came together here but on the other hand I really do love it but Maybe we can do a little bit of blowing and I do see some bubbles. I really don't want to torch too much, but just uh, bubbles that I can just see. Much. I just love it as it is. A lot of paint in here. Not sure if it's too much. There are some bubbles here. That. It is so cool. You know, it went too fast, as usual. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a doggy here. I need to check this. No, it's bubbles. It is bubbles. Why am I having so many bubbles? I really love it. So I'm just going to do the edges here. I see that there's some white that needs to be covered here. So before I actually finish off the scraping, I just need to make sure that my edges are fully, fully covered. I'm going to get a lot of paint here. with him or two in the big size however I wanted him to think about the colors and the layout because those pieces are going to require way much coloring I think we're almost there here just want to make sure that these edges are covered fully. So he's going into the thinking and then think about it. He wants to resin, art resin. So we were just looking at my supplies and he said, how much do we need? I don't know, but you can actually use the cool calculator with art resin where it says where you can add into how much, how big is my canvas? Are they in inches, centimeters, or whatever? And then it calculates how much you need to mix. That's kind of cool. So it just covered. and then we'll go for the closer. This was fast, way too fast. So now we're in the prep mode on my side at least for 
thinking about colors and do I need to order more paint? I probably have to, depending on what base color he's going to use. I know he's going to have some of the blue ones. He's, he's probably going for this blue, the phthalo blue. He is really loving that. So, if I have enough, I've got to check. Okay, so I love this. I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm going to check out what I need because as this is a canvas that was previously sprayed and yeah, it had a kind of rough surface so that's going to be interesting to see how it pans out here. So remove my gloves and I will be right back for the close up with first the studio lights on and then the studio lights are off. So we're back. It is a small piece. It's a 40 by 40 centimeter and just blue colors all the way through. I just have to do that. I love blue colors and so forth and uh, I thought not just one but more. And then of course the silver it is really cool. It's hard to see with the studio lights but you can see some of the pearl in here as well it's gonna be awesome when it's uh, dried up lots of shimmer here as you can see this is the pool that I talked about but I actually kind of like it I don't think there's too much I'm just gonna measure it afterwards to make sure that it's okay yeah nice small cells here and there let me just go with this studio lights off. So welcome back. So this is with the camera light on and with the studio lights off. So let's go for a close up. What do you think? I think this is actually very, very cool. Look at all the shimmer that comes in here with the pearl blue and uh, the iridescent blue that I added to it and this dark one oh, just I don't know I'm just a fan of blue <laughs> and this actually on the camera looks like it's gold but it's actually the pearl that comes in here so we have to see it in daylight settings and this almost looks green here on camera it's really funny and yeah, we need to see this dry and then in the daylight settings and I really love this few cells that's in there, not too much. And these lasings, I, I really love them. So this turned out so cool. I really love it. Wow. Maybe my husband wants to rest in this one as a tryout. Let's see. He's now in fluorescent. He wants to try it out and see what happens. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe I have a competition now. You never know. Maybe both of us can uh, do videos and he has his style and I do my style. So that's, uh, that's kind of uh, awesome to have a mutual interest suddenly. Let's see how long it goes on. In the meantime, have a fantastic day out there and I hope to see you soon uh, back on my channel. I hope uh, you will leave a comment and let me know what you think. And if there are any other colors that you would like to see me try out, then don't hesitate to, to leave a comment or send me a mail. So thanks for now. Bye.